wearing today and what's the cost of what you're wearing? Actually, I'm wearing the whole look from my mom. Ah. Like, especially, <laughs> really, from the shoe, from head to toe, really. Oh, so you don't uh, Just my price. glasses there. From so you don't know the price of everything? Uh, no, but I'm most of my clothes, if it's for my mom <laughs> or from second hand. We are dressed that I bought in a second hand shop. Yes, it was a 70 shekel. And they were sandals that I bought in a quite expensive uh, shop. It's, cha- it's a channel. It's a, they have a few shops in Israel. And this bag is from that shop as well, but I bought them in the Outlook uh, sections, so it was like 200, 300, I don't know, it's, it was a long time ago. I'm wearing today shorts of Bershka, I think, mm-hmm. it's like two years on me, mm-hmm. and this is from second hand, like five bucks, mm-hmm. and this is like from Greece, 80 bucks, mm-hmm. and that's all. I'm wearing some Converse I found in the trash. Mm-hmm. These Dickies pants, a friend gave them to me. And this shirt, it was like five shekels, that's like a dollar. You found your uh, shoes in the, in the trash? Yeah, <laughs> I really like uh, into like wearing stuff that isn't new. Like uh, all the fast fashion, that's bullshit. I'm wearing from Bershika. It's uh, 120, it's 100, and Calvin Klein, uh, 300 shekels. That's your glasses? it. Uh, glasses? Glasses where I can't remember even. Uh, it's from uh, Ray-Ban, but I can't remember the cost. How much do you care about what you're wearing? Like from 1 to 10? I think 7. I care a lot. <laughs> I really care. Actually, I also uh, learn fashion design. I'm ah. a fashion designer, so I really care. And I really care about the, the costs, mm-hmm. uh, like the uh, workers and like mm. their, uh, you know, their ability uh, to live. It's just clothes. It's I don't really care, like, it's fun to, you know, like, express yourself with uh, clothing, but it's it like doesn't, sense of style. yeah, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, it's just, like, uh, material, like, fabric and stuff. <laughs> don't give shit. What do you care most about? Family, friends, education, family. land, money, material possessions, what do you care most? Anything? Of course, family. I think it's all fashion, it's much more than people think, it's mm-hmm. much more uh, political, it's much more... Uh, identical like Mm -hmm. it's so much when it's come to myself so I care about health so I care about happiness uh, I care about my career Mm -hmm. I want it to to flourish Uh, it's going well but I want it to be better but I care mostly I I care a lot about uh, political issues I'm a feminist I'm a leftist I'm a member of the feminist organization here in uh, Haifa. I volunteer, I'm part of the community. I think people, people around me, mm-hmm. not just friends or family, just people around me. Mm-hmm. That's what I most care about, the connection. As a teenager, I think it's like still something you try to develop, try to think about what you're, uh, what's most important to you. Just now it's just more like just living and trying to experience stuff. In one or two words, how would you describe your life here? Yeah, it's very peaceful. It's like a, it's a very big city. In, uh, in comparison to other places in Israel, but it's, it's not that big. It's very, it's very peaceful and quiet. I really like Haifa. I'm born and raised in here. Mm-hmm. I think it's a beautiful city. Everything in one place and really, really uh, quiet and coexisted for <laughs> animals, for <laughs> people, for everyone. Okay, one world, amazing, good life. First of all, I'm from Nazareth. I moved here by myself, so... Uh, I love it here because I'm more like open to people, I, ca- I can be myself, I can do whatever I want, I can wear whatever I want, I can say whatever I want, so uh, it's like more free here. Well, privately I'm, I'm wonderful, I'm fine, I, I have a good job, I'm a teacher, I'm a professor, the head of the department, I have a nice uh, house, nice salary, um, nice uh, friends and family. Privately, I'm very fine, but uh, I'm part of the society, and this is very depressing. Israeli society don't talk about occupation, hardly talk about chauvinism. Uh, it's very religious state. People let uh, don't really aware about it or admit it, but it's a quite a problematic society. What are your biggest issues living here in Haifa? We don't have a municipality that work. I wish it would, it would be cleaner. <laughs> I think that the, the situation between the sectors 
uh, like uh, Jews and Arabs, uh, Palestinians, seculars and religion. The relationship with, with, between the groups are quite okay compared to the rest of Israel. But still, we are part of the state, so we have the same uh, issues. As someone who is into the arts and and culture working here in the museums mm -hmm. of Haifa so I feel like okay I find myself in that field but uh, it's harder you have all the possibilities in that areas uh, are in Tel Aviv all the culture all like fashion industry everything is there so it's really hard to to find yourself in here I'm fighting off the boars at night <laughs> the wild that boars know there was boys here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I have a lot of challenge here to live. I don't have challenges like you know uh, money but like not social challenges. This neighborhood it's really accepting people as you are mm -hmm. so I don't have challenges in this way. Do you consider yourself Israeli or Palestinian as an Arab? Palestinian. And as a Palestinian, what are some of the issues you face living here in Haifa? Sometimes talking in Hebrew just drive me crazy. Sometimes I need to speak in my own language, in Arabic, and uh, to feel the same as they feel. Talking in Hebrew all the time and like forcing us to talk back, it's like you, you need to understand. They, they make us feel like we need to understand. Like, no, I don't want to understand. I talk to most people English. Do you, as an Israeli, have confidence in your political leaders? Do you think that your political leaders have your best interests at heart? It's a hard question. I don't think so. No. I don't think so. No. No. No, I don't think so. No, I don't support them. Do you think that Israelis and Palestinians or Arabs living here in Haifa are able to coexist more than other parts of Israel? I think they do. Even in, in other parts of Haifa, because if you go to the to the gym or to the supermarket or you go to whenever you'll find the people from both nation nationalities so it's a uh, forced people to know each other and then uh, they're less uh, afraid but when there's time of tension we can't sit peacefully and uh, be sure that it won't happen here if there's demonstration that uh, Palestinians uh, uh, use organize the police is uh, quite um, nasty. <laughs> it's really hard question. I think we'll just living together, but like not in peace or something. There are just people around me that Arabs. I I, I just live with them. I don't yeah. know like. It's like a toleration. Yeah, like I have here cafe Arab cafe. I just embarrassed to sit there, you know, like. Yeah. But they don't ha hate me or I don't hate them. We live uh, in the respect for each other. And I think uh, lots of cities in, uh, in Israel do the same. Some of them, yeah. Some of them, they like with uh, Palestinian and they, uh, Jewish people, I like, think like Palestinian have their rights. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them, no, they hate us. Mm -hmm. And the same as Arabs. Yeah. And there's some of this and some of this. As a Palestinian, how does that make you feel? <laughs> It's bad because I don't know what can I do more. Like, uh, I only hear the news and I don't know what I can do because I'm like, like a kid here. So I don't know. You can feel more, less of a clash between Israelis and Arabs here because of years over years, uh, Arabs and, and Jews were living here way before this Israel was even ex existed. So it was just always like this, and it will always like be like that. It's just the norm. Unlike uh, you know, cities like Jerusalem that were always like in the middle of a war. Do you have any Arab friends? Of course, a lot, a lot of Arab friends. And you guys completely get along? Yeah, it's not even like an issue. Israel is known globally for mandating Israeli Jewish citizens to serve in the army. As a Palestinian who lives in Israel, how does that make you feel? Sometimes I like I hate the army because like, uh, they don't like, it's not peaceful at all. There is nothing to do literally. We just watch and die. <laughs> That's it. So Israel is known globally for mandating its Israeli Jewish citizens to serve in the army. Have you ever served in the army and what are your opinions about it? Like do you agree with it? Do you disagree? Did you have a good experience? 
I, I had a good experience because I was a teacher soldier mm -hmm. so I felt uh, really good and I did something really important and mm -hmm. I get to know a lot of people I wish it mm -hmm. there wasn't a, a need and it wasn't a must mm -hmm. but it he is have a cost in here if you don't do it. I'm, for, I'm 55, 56 almost. So uh, of course I served in the army. I'm a, I born as a Jewish. And I say of course because when I was uh, 18 years old, it was unspeakable and unthinkable to, uh, to refuse. And it was not only a political refusion, it was uh, also the idea that someone is not capable to serve in the army, it was like a big shame. So I serve in the army, I feel sorry about it. I feel sorry not only in a political manner. I felt that it uh, damaged my, uh, my soul. <laughs> that was even before I became uh, aware to the uh, occupation. So it was uh, even before ideology. It was terrible. <laughs> and now you feel differently? Well, of course, I become a... Uh, Oh, well, <laughs> it's really hard question. So I don't, I'm going to serve uh, next year mm -hmm. in the army. And I think I'm going to, it's like an experience, really interesting experience. I because have, I don't, you haven't I, done I, yeah, I yeah. don't have done yet. And uh -huh. I don't have like, no, army is bad. Or yeah, it's fucked up that the children needs to do this shit. But it's kind of, we need to. You haven't served yet, but how do you feel about it? Do you have an opinion? I think s sending a bunch of 18-year-olds to fight wars that aren't theirs, it's so fucked up. Like, the army is bullshit. <laughs> do you feel like your opinion would kind of alienate you from society? Uh, maybe here, a lot of times it could. But I think it's important to to stick on what you think and not like uh, just do something because everybody says that's what you're supposed to do. How did you come up with this thought process? Oh, I, I think just uh, being having an open mind and just listening to as many opinions as you can to to make an opinion of your own. Do you but think I, that's changing with this next generation? I think it was always like this, but uh, today there's more freedom to express your uh, opinions, more platforms to do it. and. It also really depends on like the people you you know mm -hmm. and the people that influence you. As an Israeli, how do you feel about Arabs who live in Israel consider themselves Palestinian? Ah, I support it. I'm a sociologist, so when I teach about uh, this issue in, uh, in class, try to explain my students what's the political meaning uh, beyond the, each uh, term. Like if you say the Israeli Arabs or the Arabs of Israel or uh, our cousins, you know this term, it's terrible. I try to explore the different meaning and I tell them, uh, well, I will use this term, Palestinians, and you should uh, adopt whatever way, whatever, what, which way you want to, um, to adopt, but make sure that you understand what's the meaning of it. What are some misconceptions you think people have about Israel that you would like for people? That's <laughs> to what to know watching this video it's really fun here it's not catastrophic I don't have uh, bombs here <laughs> it's really peaceful life I live here really happy I happy human being in here we don't have always war and we don't have always conflict conflict with Arabs and no we're just people and we live here and sometimes it's like tense but I live here in peaceful way. I don't know, we have a mix of people, so most of the time they think I'm not from here, speaking mm -hmm. to me English or like uh, Russian, <laughs> and I'm not. So it's funny, it's always a question, like where are you from? Mm -hmm. And my grandfathers came from Europe, from Poland, mm -hmm. so I need to, every, every time I meet new people, I need to say like I'm a Polish, <laughs> you know, but mm -hmm. I'm not, and yeah. I don't have a really connection to that. So it's always a, an issue and it's always a kind of a talk in here. The whole core of the conflict, on our side, on the Israeli side, it's a v it's small group of very uh, extreme people that have very extreme opinions. And from the other side, you have the Palestinian side, which are also contain a group of like people with very extreme opinions. And these extreme groups, that's what cuts to the media. That's what sh shows. So basically, like 90% of every side is just people that want to live here and 
in our country, they just want to live in peace, just live their life. That this was Palestine before Israel, mm -hmm. first of all. And uh, stop saying that Israeli people are good and they're trying to help other countries, which they are killing children in Gaza and they're like hitting people around if they just talk about their rights. It's not really a democracy. Israel um, have a great PR and they, in everywhere in the world, they consider Israel as a democracy, but it's not, not a proper one. It's very depressing.